right guys, it's a beautiful day here, so I figured I'd get out and go check out George Washington's birthplace national monument. Here we go. After leaving the main road, a single straight road takes you directly to the site where founding father George Washington was born on February 22nd, 1732. This is where George Washington lived until the age of three. There's an obelisk that was erected to commemorate the site in 1896. All right, so as I mentioned, this is a national monument, of course. That means it's managed by the National Park Service. They do a really good job. It's a very well-maintained place. Um, it's located in the northern neck of Virginia, you know, not too far from Westmoreland State Park, which we recently visited, probably only about five miles up the street from that. Um, it's close by where we live. You know, it's convenient, so I try to get out here at least a few times a year. You know, spend an afternoon walking around, enjoying the sights, being outside. You know, it's really nice. Coming from I-95, you know, you want to jump off of Fredericksburg, take Route 3. It'll take you no more than an hour. You'll be out here. It's super easy to get to, and it's a nice drive. So, all right. So, we like to start at the visitor center, so let's go check that out first. All right. So, the visitor center is closed. It's cool that they have the, uh, the stamps here. In the vestibules so you can still access those a lot of times if the visitor center is closed you're just straight out of luck you can't get your stamps i'm not sure why it's closed you know i've been here since COVID started but i actually haven't been here since the visitor centers reopened i just assumed since most visitor centers have reopened and most of the parks we've been to recently that this would be the case uh, but who knows it is a, a weekday so maybe there's only open on the weekends but you know i've been here before so i sort of know what the drill is so i don't really need information so all right, let's go take a look at what's around. All right, so this here is the area behind the visitor center. Normally when it's open, you can exit from there and come check out this view. Um, since it's closed, I just walked around. This here is what's called Pope Creek, which uh, comes out of the, the Potomac, or I guess feeds into the Potomac, whichever way it works. But yeah, the, uh, the birthplace of George Washington is situated on Pope's Creek. Now they have uh, a historic area, then farther away a little separate picnic area and some trails connecting them. First I'll walk around the historic area and show you what's here. And then uh, we'll go check out the picnic area. And even farther down the street there's some burial grounds and um, a water access point. We'll take a look at that. But first up is the historic area. Alright. Well, as I was walking towards the historic area I almost walked right past this guy and didn't even see him. Check him out. Hey there. Hey bud. While there's not really any original um, structure here in this uh, place, they have reproductions both of the, um, the buildings and the home as well as the farm. Um, and they got animals to go with it, so it's pretty cool. I did find out later that the visitor center is in fact closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. It's open the rest of the week from Wednesday through Sunday from 9.30 to 5. The grounds are open seven days a week from 9 to 5. All right, so first we're going to check out the farm area, which includes replicas of typical colonial farm buildings. When Washington's father, Augustine, owned the farm, about 15 acres were devoted to his cash crop, tobacco. They have a couple hogs there, but I guess they didn't feel like coming out that day. They were just chilling. And this building here is what they call the farm workshop. They do demonstrations here of some colonial trades like blacksmithing. They weren't doing anything on this day. I imagine you have a better chance of seeing an actual demonstration if you come on a weekend. There are plenty of benches and stuff throughout the place where you can sit down and relax. And this here is the Colonial Kitchen. I understand they do demonstrations here also occasionally, but I think those only happen during special events. Like the 
building may be closed. Uh, yeah, I guess it's not the same type of deal. Turned open. Must be closed. Must be closed. I guess that's what happens when you don't plan ahead and just show up. You know, I would uh, recommend checking the website, making sure everything's open if you're uh, intent on seeing the inside of some of these places, um, like the visitor center or the reproduction home. But, you know, the outside's nice. You know, it's free, free uh, place. So worth the price of admission for sure to be able to enjoy this beautiful scenery and at least see the exterior of these buildings. You know, I think it's still worthwhile, but definitely, you know, if you're interested in seeing the inside, check the website and plan accordingly. All right, so this is actually called the Memorial House and it was built in 1931. The structure represents a typical upper-class colonial house. It's probably a bit finer than the house where Washington was born. I didn't see any on this day, but when you're here, you should keep your eyes open for bald eagles. I've seen plenty of them there in the past. All right, guys, so that uh, bridge, I guess, uh, marks the end of the boundary of the historic area historic area is only open from nine to five. But over here, on the other side of this bridge is the nature trail. It's a loop. Um, it's, about a, it's about a mile or so, you know, not that long, easy walk. This nature trail, I'm not gonna do it today. It's a pretty walk, goes along the water. Um, I'm gonna drive over actually and go check out the picnic area so I can show you that. Now, in addition to the cow and the hog, they have a horse and a mule on the farm. And my favorite, my spirit animal, the goat. And here, this is called the Colonial Herb and Flower Garden. So this is interesting to me. I believe this area is called Building X. It's the site of the actual birth home. Usually this is filled in. It looks like they're doing some kind of archeological work. So I've never actually seen it like that. Pretty cool. Other than some steps, most of the trails and walking areas here are very easy and accessible. All right, so here we are, back at the visitor center where we started. Um, you more or less can do the whole thing as a loop. Now if you look, there's a visitor center to the left. When you leave that trail by where we saw the cow at first is uh, the path I started down. And we looped around through the farm, the house, and then back. Could have done, gone this way and started walking by the river and done it in reverse. You know, I don't think it really makes a difference. Uh, either way, you're seeing the same stuff. But you can't go wrong. So it's a pretty short drive to get to the other areas, but this is a very low traffic road, so it's actually not bad for walking. I've done that a lot in the past. So the picnic area has a lot of different spots and tables, each having a grill. There's also a designated area where you can fish. There's also a covered pavilion type of thing and an indoor restroom facility. Next thing we're going to look at is the family burial ground. This was established by George's great grandfather, John Washington, when he settled here in 1664. Now, the burial ground doesn't actually look anything like what it did back in the day. It's been redone, but some of George Washington's very close relatives were buried here originally. The 
next area of note is the beach area. You can swim here, but this is more popular for fishing. Unlike Westmoreland State Park, you're actually prohibited from collecting fossils in this spot. Alright guys, so that's George Washington's birthplace national monument in the northern neck of Virginia. Very cool spot, definitely worth the trip, you know, for a good day trip. Think about checking out George Washington's birthplace. All right guys, well as always, thanks for watching. If you like it, go ahead and give me that thumbs up and also think about subscribing. All right guys, we'll be back soon because scamps like us were born to camp. Later.